Subsurface Studio is designed to kind of be a workshop, right? I like to draw an analogy between this and kind of like home carpentry in your garage, right? Where you might be building a dining room table and there's all sorts of sawdust and scrap wood everywhere. And that's okay because you're, you're constructing something and iterating, right? Uh, in the end product, you want eventually to share with stakeholders, right? Uh, that's what Subsurface Studio does on the, on the geo side of things. It allows you to iterate, make 18 versions of that map until you find the right one, um, create enough velocity models to, to get it right finally, right? Mm -hmm. It's just part of interpretation. But then we have our Prism product over there on the right, which kind of facilitates a little bit bigger picture, higher level workflows that many of our stakeholders as geoscientists often work in, if, if not us on a different day wearing a different hat, right? So uh, that's a little bit more like a Japanese garden kind of thing where it's, it's a little bit more curated, it's a little bit bigger picture, and, and it tends to be used a little bit for M&A, new ventures, investment kind of activities. So closing the gap here and, and creating a handshake between Prism and Subsurface Studio in both directions is something that we're focusing on.